Hi everyone! So it's been a while since I posted um, kind of a proper video about where, it, where we're at. I've posted a few shorts and a few kind of just update videos but um, I thought I'd talk a bit about what we've done so far and what we've learned along, along our little journey. Is that we've only just been here over a week. So we landed in Toronto and we picked up the boys as you've probably seen. Um, they travelled really well, fly packs were amazing process of picking them up was um, we just had to be there an hour after their flight landed and uh, basically go to customs and then uh, we had to fill in a few bits of a few forms give our ID uh, pay a charge just to get them checked over when they get there and then we just pay the the kind of customs charge as well so yeah it wasn't it wasn't a stupid a stupid amount of money it was probably about two hundred dollars total um and then yeah they just bring and brought them out in their crates with a forklift um and yeah we put them straight in the truck um and yeah they traveled really well they're really happy to see us um didn't for those of you who want to know didn't actually go to the toilet in their crate at all which i was really surprised about which is great so they didn't smell too bad they just smelled like dog kennels uh where they've been there over like a couple of nights um so yeah picked them up and then made our journey from Toronto all the way down to Nova Scotia which was long so uh, we actually stayed where did we stay we stayed in Toronto and we were waiting for the boys and then we actually started driving straight from there we actually decided to drive through the night and make little stops uh, just kind of taking it in turns stopped had kind of a, like an hour or so sleep sorry Thor um, an hour or so sleep and then carried on again and then um, yeah, and then we stayed in a little hotel around kind of Halifax area, which was really nice. The dogs could stay um, and then carried on our journey and made it into kind of um, this area. So Brooklyn area. Um, and then we actually stayed in a little Airbnb, which was an amazing little boathouse, which, again, you've probably seen in some of the videos. Um, and yeah, it was a converted boathouse with her, a um, hot tub downstairs which made it actually a million degrees downstairs because it's been really really muggy here so we actually ended up having to switch it off i don't think we used it once um and yeah but it was really nice just to be kind of on right on that lake and just enjoy kind of being there it was really quiet and peaceful just for uh five five nights we ended up staying so we extended by one night and then we had our trailer delivered so we had to organize to um, put a pad down for our trailer so we had to organise all of the aggregate to be delivered. Initially when we first spoke to them and got a quote from them months ago they said oh just give us lots of three days notice and then we ordered it and they said oh probably gonna be about five days and we were like oh my god we're gonna have to pay for somewhere else to stay and it was just getting like we were like we're spending way too much money here. Um, but luckily the next day we got a phone call saying can I come and deliver it so we we're like yes. Um, and obviously I posted another video about us putting our pad down so that all got done and the trailer got delivered successfully on the Saturday. So yeah, and then we just moved straight in. We've been actually been living off the power from the batteries on the trailer um, and the gas. So um, yeah, we just keep swapping in and out batteries. We've got a load of new batteries that we've actually bought for our solar, but we haven't got it hooked up yet. It's only just been delivered. So as soon as we get that delivered, then we can just recharge batteries and just live off that, hopefully. Um, the hardest things I think have been um, cars. So if you're planning to come over here and buy kind of a, a car or two cars on a budget, we obviously need two because Chris will be working and I'll be at college. If you're planning on buying cars on a budget, it's so hard to find them because they have to have something called an MVI, which is a motor vehicle inspection to be um, insured. And if they don't have that, you then have to go and take it to um, a garage and have a motor vehicle inspection put on it, not knowing how much work it's going to have to have done um, and then get it insured. So we didn't want to go the whole garage route because we don't know really people. We don't didn't know any garages around here or the best, best place to go or anything like that. So we just thought, all right, we're going to knuckle down and, <laughs> and find some cars. So I found a little mini a uh, little mini cooper on kijiji which had just had a new vehicle inspection put on so we've picked that up now and chris is waiting on his ford edge which hopefully we're picking up today um and they um are 
doing a load of work on it and then it's going to have a new vehicle inspection on it as well so which lasts two years both cars have been really well looked after and over here it's really important that you look for cars um with which have been undercoated because the air here is so salty because we're just surrounded by sea and then in the winter they obviously put salt down on the roads when it's when it's snowing but they also now use um brine on the roads so it just eats the cars so try and look for vehicles that have been undercoated kind of every year so we're gonna continue to do that i think with these just to keep them going as long as possible and actually in about three months time when we've got three months worth of um pay slips from chris we'll hopefully be able to go and get a vehicle on tick so we'll probably get a truck because over here <laughs> you just you can't really live without a truck it's just so important um to lug things around and stuff like that um what else so yeah as soon as we arrived we have to order um, or organise our social insurance number, which is really easy to do. You can just do it online. But we didn't realise that because we were living on a plot of land, effectively, um, our address wasn't registered with Canada Post. So <laughs> uh, after I'd ordered it, I had to then uh, phone up Canada Post, get our address uh, registered, which basically took a week. And the post doesn't even come straight to our address. It actually goes to a post box just up the road, which is fine. And then we just go and pick it up because it's kind of rural around here so they won't deliver um so that's all sorted now um and the same with msi cards i ordered those as soon as we arrived but obviously it got sent out and the post box wasn't ready yet so the msi cards are for m mainly for nova scotia um and it's your medical cards so uh yeah i had to phone them up yesterday and ask them to deliver them again so hopefully they'll be in the post in the next few days. But yeah, it's definitely been a learning process. And um, I feel like now we're really starting to pick things up and kind of get on board with where things are and the way things work. Um, we even found this awesome little free well uh, just over the bridge from where we are on the other side of Brooklyn, uh, where we can literally fill up these huge um, just gallons and gallons of water we just go and fill them up every day and because we're not quite hooked up to our um well yet we just actually fill up the rv with those every day um and it's free so <laughs> happy days we don't drink that water we get another well, another one filled up from places like canada tire um which i think is like two dollars to fill one up um walmart dirt, but obviously you have to shop around and just see which ones are the best deals um so yeah, that is water. What else have we done? Um, and the rest has just been kind of us working on our land more than anything really. Because we've been waiting on our sins, Chris hasn't actually started work yet. So hopefully he'll be starting on Monday when he's got his car. He's now got his social insurance number. Uh, we also found out with the sins that once you've registered, if you've got a GC, GC key, you can actually uh, sign in online and try and get your social insurance number that way. But we had a load of issues doing it like that. so. We, when we opened up our bank, we actually did it online and we used our bank as kind of um, proof that we are who we say we are. And we managed to get the SIMs on the website that way and just make a note of them. Uh, so that's a much easier way of doing it. But yeah, um, kind of up to date with where we are. Um, obviously, I'm sat in our new trailer, as you can see. It's quite dated and a little bit dark and stuff, but... These two have made themselves quite comfortable. Loki's basically owning the sofa, Thor owns the floor. Um, so yeah, there's a few bits that we want to do in here. We want to kind of brighten it up a little bit because we're going to be in here for quite some time um, and just get it to where we need it. And then, yeah, I will um, post out some videos of kind of what we've been doing on our land and where we are with that. And yeah, just keep, up, keep updated and I'll keep you informed on where we are and what's going on.